uh, hello welcome to biology the scientific study of life types of sensory receptors based on the energy they transduce sensory receptors fall into five categories uh, micro receptors chemo receptors electromagnetic uh, magnetic receptors and thermal receptors and pain receptors Mechnorespitors. Mechnorespitors sense uh, physical deformation caused by stimuli uh, such as pressure, touch, stretch, motion, and sound. All forms of mechanica, mechanical uh, uh, energy bending or stretching of the uh, mechnorespitors plasma membrane increases the membrane's uh, permeability to sodium and potassium ions. When this happens, the membrane potential moves to a value between equilibrium K and equilibrium Na, resulting in a depolarization. Uh, the uh, crayfish stretch respirator and the vertebrate hair cell are micro-respirators. Another example is the vertebrate stretch respirator, which monitor the length of skeletal muscles. The uh, micro-respirators in this case are the uh, dendrites. Of sensory neurons that spiral around the middle of the small skeletal muscle fibers, muscle um, muscle spindles, each containing about two to twelve of these fibers, surrounded by connective tissue, are uh, distributed through the muscle parallel of uh, or to other muscle fibers. When the muscle is stretched. The uh, spindle fibers are stretched to polarizing sensory neurons and uh, triggering action potentials that are transmitted to the spinal cord, muscle spindle, uh, and the sensory neurons that innervate them are part of nerve circuits uh, that underlie reflexes. Uh, the mammalian sense of touch also released on mechano uh, respirators that are the dendrites of sensory neurons. Often they are embedded in layers of connective tissue, as shown in this figure. What is that? Uh, the structure of the connective tissue and the, uh, the location of the respirators dramatically affect the type of mechanical energy, light, touch, vibration, or strong pressure. That best stimulates the respirators that detect light, touch, or close to the surface of the skin. They transduce very slight inputs of mechanical energy into respirator potentials. Respirators responding to strong uh, pressure that vibrations are in deep skin layers. Other respirators um, sense movement of hair not be confused with hair cells in this figure. Uh, those are the base of the uh, stawet st uh, st whiskers of mammals, such as cats and many rodents, are extremely sensitive at enable the animal to detect nearby ob uh, objects in the dark. Uh, chemo um, uh, chemo uh, respirators, uh, respirators. Chemo respirators include both general respirators that transmit information about the total solute concentrations of a solution and specific respirators that respond to individual kinds of molecules. Osmo respirators in the mammalian brain, of, for example, are general respirators that detect changes in the total solute concentration of the blood and stimulate thirst and stimulate thirst. When osmolarity increases, water respirators in the uh, feet of house uh, flies respond to pure, pure um, water uh, to a uh, dilute uh, solution of uh, virtually any substance. Must animals also have respirators for specific molecules, including glucose, oxygen, carbon dioxide, and amino acid? Two, uh, two of the most sensitive and specific. Uh, Chemo respirators known are present in the uh, antin antenna of the male uh, silkworm moth. They detect the what is that? Uh, they detect the two chemical components of the female moths, uh, six uh, ferom uh, ferom ferromon. In all these examples, the stimulus uh, stimulus uh, molecule uh, binds to a specific site on the membrane of the uh, respirator cell and initiates change in membrane uh, permeability. Uh, 
um, uh, electromagnetic resistors. Electromagnetic resistors detect various forms of electromagnetic energy, such as visible light, electricity, and magnetism. Photoresistors, electromagnetic resistors that detect the radiation we know as visible light are often organized into eyes. Some snakes have very sensitive um, infrared respirators that detect body heat or debris against a colder background. Some fishes uh, generate uh, um, uh, generate electric currents and use electrorespirators uh, to locate objects such as debris that uh, disturb uh, those currents that uh, Blitab's uh, uh, a monotere, a monotere mammal has electrospitors on its bell that probably detect electric fields generated by the muscles of the uh, crustaceans, uh, frogs, uh, small fish, and other pre. Many animals appear to use Earth's magnetic field in lines uh, to orient themselves as the as they. Um, um, Migrate the iron, iron containing mineral magnetite is found in the skulls of many vertebrates, including salmon, pigeons, sea turtle, and humans. In the abdomen of bees, in the teeth of some mollusks and certain protists and brucarites. That orient Earth's magnetic field, once used by sailors uh, as a compass uh, magnetite, may be part of an orienting uh, mechanism in many animals. Thermorespitors, thermorespitors which respond to heat or cold, help regulate body temperature uh, by signaling both surface and body core temperature. Debate continuous about the identity of thermo, uh, thermorespitors in mammalian skin. Possible candidates are two respitors consisting of uh, encapsulated branched dendrites, uh, as shown in this figure. Notice that. Um, many researchers, however, think that these structures are modified pressure respirators and that thermal respirator consists uh, of naked uh, dendrites of certain sensory neurons. There is general agreement that thermal respirators in the skin and in the anterior hypothalamus send information to the body's thermostat located in the posterior hypothalamus. Pain respirators. In human pain respirators, also called um, nociceptors, uh, from the Latin nocera to hurt, are a class of naked dendrites in the uh, uh, epidermis. Most animals probably experience pain, although we cannot say what uh, perceptions other animals associate with stimulation of pain respirators. Pain is an important sensation because the stimulus uh, usually leads to a defensive reaction, such as withdrawal from danger. Rare uh, individuals who are uh, born without any pain sensation may die from uh, conditions such as a ruptured uh, appendix uh, because they cannot feel the associated uh, pain and are unaware of the danger. Different groups of pain respirators respond to excess heat, pressure, or specific classes of chemicals released from, uh, um, uh, from damaged or inflamed tissues. Some chemicals that trigger pain include uh, histamine and acids, uh, acids bustalaglandins or post, uh, prost the glandins increase pain by sensitizing sensitizing respirators that is lowering their their shoulder uh, aspirin and uh, ibuprofen reduce pain by inhibiting a prostaglandin synthesis why density of um, uh, nociceptors is highest in the skin some are associated with other organs uh, the uh, micno respirators involved with hearing and equilibrium detect settling uh, particles or moving fluid. 
hearing and the perception of body equilibrium or balance are related in most animals both involved mechanorespirators uh, that produces fetal potentials when some part of the membrane is bent by settling particles or moving fluids sensing gravity and sound in invertebrates most invertebrates have sensory organs called statocysts that contain micro-respirators and function in their sense of equilibrium. A common type of uh, status consists uh, of a layer of um, silicated um, silicated respirator, as shown in this video. What is that? Silicated respirator cells surrounded uh, surrounding a chamber that contains one or more uh, statoliths uh, which are grains of sand uh, or other dense um, granules uh, gravity causes the statoliths uh, to settle to the low point in the chamber stimulating respirators in that location statocysts are located in different parts of an invertebrate body. For example, many gilets have a statocysts at the fringe of their bell, giving the animals in an indication of body position. Lobsters and uh, crayfish have a stato. Uh, cysts, status cysts near the base of their um, uh, antino and antinoles and tunnels uh, in experiments crayfish have been tricked into swimming upside down when their statolids were replaced with metal shaving uh, shavings that were pulled to the upper end uh, of the statosis with uh, magnets many invertebrates demonstrate a uh, general sensitivity to sound all the sectors specialized for hearing seem to be less widespread than gravity sensors hearing structures have been studied most extensively in terrestrial insects many or perhaps most insects um have body uh, hairs that vibrate in response to sound waves hairs of different stuffness and lengths vibrate at different frequencies the hair uh, the hairs are commonly uh, tuned uh, to frequencies to, of sounds produced by other organisms for example a male mosquitoes or a male mosquito locates and um, uh, amid by um, means of fine hairs on his atina um, the hairs vibrate in a specific way in response to the uh, hum uh, produced by the beating wings of flying females a tuning fork that vibrates at the same frequency as a female mosquito's wings will also attract males some uh, caterpillars larval moths and uh, butterflies have vibrating body uh, hairs that can detect the uh, buzzing uh, wings of predatory wasps uh, warning the caterpillar of the danger many insects also have localized uh, ears in which um a, timp a tympanic membrane uh, uh, eardrum is stretched over an internal air chamber sound waves vibrate the tympanic membrane stimulating respiratory cells attached to the inside of the membrane and resulting in nerve impulses that are transmitted to the brain some moths can hear uh, can hear the high pitched sounds that bats produce uh, for soon, sooner and perceiving these sounds it triggers the moths escape uh, maneuver uh, this also explains why it is so difficult to step on a, a, a cockroach uh, the insect sense your descending foot uh, in moves very quickly to avoid it uh, hearing and equilibrium in mammals. Okay.